Hello, I am Elizabeth O'Breekster and I'm here today at the Children's Hospital to tell you very upsetting news about a shocking 60% increased use of antidepressants for children in Denmark, closed followed by other Western countries. Major Increase in Child and Adolescent Use of Antidepressants International study from University of Southern Denmark, SDU, has compared the use of antidepressants in five countries. Denmark accounts for the largest increase. The number of Danish children and young people who are prescribed antidepressants are from 2005 to 2012 increased by 60%. It shows a new multinational study headed by Christian Bachmann from King's College in London. The study is the first of its kind, which has systematically compared the consumption of antidepressants among 0 to 19 year old children and young people in five Western countries, Denmark, England, Holland, Germany and the United States over a period of seven years. The largest increases in consumption were observed in Denmark. 60.5%, the UK, 54.4%, and Germany, 49.2%. The guidance from the Health Protection Agency says that the drug, Floxidin, is the first treatment for depression in children and adolescents, as the other marketed preparations only have shown little or no proven efficacy in patients under 25 years. Even so, the drug statistics register that the preparation, Cytolopram, is the most popular choice when doctors put the pencil on the recipe block. Lisa Agoard, professor of clinical pharmacology at the University of Southern Denmark, who has participated in the international study says. This development is surprising, and the extensive use of drugs without approved indications and without age declarations also called off-label prescriptions is worrisome since knowledge of these drugs for efficacy and long-term side effects are unknown. Therefore, one of principle, always use approved drugs for the treatment of children and adolescents. Lisa Agoard, emphasizes that children on antidepressants are at great risk of developing suicidal thoughts and aggression behavior. There is something in society that makes these kids end up in situations where they feel depressed. And it's interesting, because you expect the children are healthy and do not need any medication. She calls for a study that maps the doctor's printing of antidepressants for children and how the medicine works in children, and how long the children are under medical treatment. The results of the multinational study was published in the internationally, renowned journal. European Neuropsychopharmacology in March 2016. You can find various links in the original description to this Obreekster animation video. Thanks for watching, take care, and don't forget to subscribe.